go to Jenny Bond now. And J- Jenny, you heard what John had to say there. He's saying basically, um, and I have to say, I, I think this sounds perfectly sensible, that she's got to uh, show the original picture and say, look, this is all I did. She doesn't appear that she did anything structurally to faces or images like that, uh, whatever. Why do you think she's resisting showing the original picture? It's probably several pictures, and she probably changed it because one of the kids was, I don't know, picking his nose or something. You know, that she changed it for cosmetic reasons, I feel. Um, and I don't think we should be bullying her into putting out uh, all the images. I do think that it would be a good idea now to do what they've done in the past and do a little video clip um, on Instagram or something in a day or two. Um, Obviously, the palace never want to feel pressured or pushed into doing something. But I do think we are in danger of, of... bullying a lady who is trying to recover from a very serious operation. I think of how she must be feeling this morning. Absolutely miserable, I think. Her mother's day was obviously ruined by this row. Um, she was photographed yesterday um, in the car with William. She, from what we could see, didn't look that happy. She must feel under intense pressure now. Whenever she's going to be seen in public, the pressure has doubled and redoubled. And I think she's in a fragile mental and physical state. Um, and we should lay off her, as yeah. the Sun newspaper said this morning. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Jenny. And I think it's easy to lose sight of actually the reason there's been this absolute obsession with where she is and whether this picture was real or not is actually because of this huge amount of affection that the public hold for her. People have been worried about her. People want to see that she's well because people love it. She's the star of the royal family. And so I think, you know, if she is this morning feeling down in the dumps, I really hope that that message is being conveyed to her. And you only have to look at our inbox this morning. I support Princess Catherine she's our wonderful future queen nobody else holds a candle to her um, Avril saying for goodness sake it's a photo, um, leave her alone Joan as long as Catherine's recovering well that is all that matters and that is the overall sentiment in all of this would you agree? Absolutely yeah and uh, you know maybe we should ask all the celebrities Kim Kardashian and everyone to put out their original photos before they filtered them it's become so normal to manipulate a photo to some degree or another that there's the hashtag no filter used isn't there mm. um, that's how normal it is and and um, I don't like the word manipulating touching up either. changing yeah. photographs um, uh, has gone on ever since photography was invented. No? We used to have a, a silk stocking over the lens to soften uh, the image of someone's face. Cecil Beaton, uh, one of the most famous royal photographers, routinely touched up photos. At Prince Edward's wedding um, to Sophie, uh, William was looking a little bit glum. And so the, the official photographer admitted afterwards, yes, I, I took another picture of William and bonked it on, on his body. Um, and uh, that's what happens. So nothing sinister has happened here. The poor woman's been caught out in a mm. really backhanded um, attempt at editing a photo, and now she's been pilloried. And mm. I use that word again. I think we're in danger of bullying her, and I yeah. do think we have to stop a serious journalist going down these rabbit holes of social media. We must not be led by that. Mm. Um, one thing I would say, I mean, until she came out with the mere culpa yesterday, no one was actually suggesting she was at fault in any way. Nobody knew whether this was the palace that had made the misstep, whether this was Prince William who had edited it. No one was going after Kate. I, I do wonder that given your comments about the fact that there have been pictures edited historically for, for a long time in the royal family, is there some, you know, pernicious naughtiness on behalf of these well-respected international news agencies you know why have they suddenly decided we won't accept these pictures if they've been manipulated or as you prefer tampered or edited I think they overreacted, actually. I think they jumped the gun. They could have waited for a considered response from the palace, which may or may not have come, but uh, this happened on a Sunday night um, the, the Wales is, you know, they, they don't particularly want to answer press questions late on a Sunday evening. Um, and also, I think there's a bit of an agenda because uh, ever since the royal family, and particularly Catherine, has started putting out her own pictures, it, it's niggled the official photographers. Obviously, they'd much rather have their own person in there. But also, there are very, very high standards in news agencies, and any uh, professional photographer uh, in the news field, not the entertainment field, I don't think, but in the news field, um, absolutely works to certain standards and a code of conduct. and. Uh, Manipulating a picture would not be part of that code.